Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. So, I'm here with my mom. She's camera shy, like I am. So she's not going to be in the video. But anyway, we are working on the alien chamber prop. Uh, new for this year. Um, seen the idea online. And I work for a printing printing business. And they have these large barrels of glue. Um, so anyway... After some of those got emptied, I asked my boss if I could take some of those. So, um, he said I could have all I wanted. So, we've got four of these. But we're only going to make one right now. Um, so the ideal is... We are going to use these as the... As the alien chamber. I'm going to put two... Or one on top of each other. We have cut out the window part. Where the alien is going to be... Um, in um, so we're just going to do one one window there um, and we're not going to do the whole alien um, but anyway I'm, I'm rambling right now so let me put these together and let me show you how that's going to look alright fr friends so uh, when I saw these barrels I thought that is the perfect thing to use to make the alien chamber so like I said we're putting two or one on top of each other and the window here is going to be on the top one. We've got some neon green paint in here. We didn't want to paint it solid because we still want um, some dimension in there. And the outside of this is going to be uh, kind of metal. We're going to go with the army, army green spray paint. And then I've got some foam, foam sheets. I'll show you guys going to be using this uh, it's called silly winks <laughs> that's what my mom calls me winks <laughs> but anyway uh, this is a uh, foam sheets and I'm going to cut um, I don't know maybe three inches wide and these are going to be like the bands which I'm going to paint and they're going to go around the top around the center and around the bottom and then I'll be getting some metallic like um, silver spray paint that metal look and um, you know spray paint those bands and maybe put some little uh, like bolts and stuff on them but anyway guys this is part one of this prop and this is what we got done so far so we're gonna get the um, we're gonna get the outside of this painted army green and we got a sheet of plexiglass type stuff. Um, I know it's not plexiglass because <laughs> it was only it was under five dollars a sheet. So we got it in Hobby Lobby at the craft the crafting part. So anyway, uh, we're going to glue that across the front, across this window, and then the edges, of course, will be covered up by. Um, uh, we'll probably use more of that border of the foam sheets that I was just talking about but anyway this is what we got done so far we're going to get this painted on the outside and I'll be back for our progress all right friends so naturally we ran out of spray paint had to go back to the store and get more of course Myers didn't have the same army green but that's all right they had a hunter green and I think it's going to be just fine we did get some uh, fluorescent green paint to paint the inside. So that's really going to make the inside pop. I think it's going to look awesome. So now we need to work on figuring out what we're going to do for our um, bands. I got some metallic paint. I'll show you real quick. It's the hammered look. The hammered look uh, spray paint. So we'll be making the bands that go around the top, middle, and bottom. And then we'll be trying to figure out how we're going to do the uh, plexiglass. So uh, we got some Velcro pieces that we're going to put around here. And attach it to the um, plexiglass. And at the same time we're going to be liquid nailing it to this. But the, the Velcro will help it stay in place. So hopefully that makes sense so it's not folding back out on us. Um, 
But yeah, we've got a alien mask on the way <laughs> uh, from Amazon that looks pretty cool. So, and then we'll figure out how to do the body. Uh, we are, we did make a hole in here for the cord. We're putting a green light in this. So anyway, we're going to be putting some yellow, um, what, U.S. Army? U.S. Army thing across here and some kind of what's it called not area 51 and uh some kind of it looks like a biohazard symbol but it's not biohazard i forget what it is but anyway that is oh and we also got I'm trying to go slow so i don't make y'all seasick um i don't know if it's i don't know what we've done with it but it's like um the dryer vent thing the metal thing that um, expands I think you guys know what I'm talking about um, don't know what we did with it but we are going to be putting that on the outside for some extra detail it's probably going to come out in here and go back in uh, also have I might get more of these, but this is just a thought to kind of make it look like it's got bubbles inside. You know, we're going to hide it to where you can't see the top of this, but I think if some of these were in, in there, it might look like a bubble or two. But anyway, guys, this is the first part, part one of this prop. Um, it's going to take some time, obviously, for the... Um, the liquid nail to dry so i gotta do this um in multiple parts don't have the technology and the know-how to put all all the pieces together and make one long video so i apologize for that but anyway that's what we got so far so anyway i'm gonna call this part one of the alien chamber prop and if you like this video, please subscribe, please like and share, leave a comment. I would really appreciate it. And if you know anybody that is into home hunting, Halloween in general, or just um, Halloween DIYs, please send them my way. Would love to have them part of my hunting family here. Um, so lots more Halloween projects on the way. So if you're looking forward to that please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be alerted when i post a new video all right take care friends happy fourth of july weekend i'll see you guys in the next video